Is your KD below a 0.8? Well, there's a couple reasons for that, of which will be talked about in just a minute. But before we get into that, make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's get into it. If you clicked on this video, it means your KD is less than anticipated. And that's okay, because the thing about KD is that it can be fixed. Let's get this stigma out of the way. Just because you have a 0.9 KD or a 0.8 KD does not mean you're dreadful at this game. Maybe you're really good at giving calls or you fill the support role spot on your team. Every team needs a player like you. You have to think about what your strengths are and really play into them. If you're constantly worried about just getting kills to have your stats look better, that's problem number one. If you're just running around the building looking for picks, the majority of the time you won't find any, especially if you're not naturally skilled as a gunner. So a good piece of advice I can give you is to slow down. Really take your time when doing your job on the team. Let's say for example, you're playing Cade. Your job is to delay the wall from being open for as long as possible. Most of the time, the attackers will force you out and get the wall, but that's fine. You've wasted time and that's huge. This is the point where you want to start looking for picks and waste even more time. If the attackers know they have to clear you to make their push, the gunfights are naturally going to come straight to you. If you can manage to kill even one, you've done your job. And at that point, you've neutralized the death on the leaderboard. Now, once you get good at something like this, you'll be able to get two or three kills on the Type of hold. Your KD is completely based on your mindset. If your only goal is to get kills, sure, you can get some kills, but at the cost of your team losing the round. I should emphasize that this video is mainly for people struggling in that gunner position and need other ways of increasing their KD. I'm aware that there's some of you out there who can waltz into the building and have plot armor take you where you need to go, but for some people, it's not that easy, so just ease up a little. Anyway, back to what I was saying about mindset. If you're constantly worried about going one and six or two and five, that's exactly what's going to happen. You cannot worry about what happened last round because guess what? You could have an insane round for yourself that gets you three to five kills and you'll be at the top of the leaderboard just from one round. The amazing thing about this game is that anything can happen. A round can be won by one person entirely or a game can be brought back from an 0-3 score. I've seen it happen countless times. My point is that you should play it round to round instead of game to game. Getting angry about getting wall banged or jiggle peek one tapped isn't going to help anyone. Get to what you're good at, giving calls to your living teammates and help guide them through. Another thing that could really help your KD is just overall practice. Get into an aim trainer and play that for 30 minutes a day, or use the countless tools and playlists Siege gives you to learn some better mechanics. Speaking of learning, another good tip is to always be open to learning something new. If there's someone in your stack trying to give you advice, take it. Don't be mad that you died and assume they're making fun of you. They're trying to explain why you died and how you can avoid that in the future. And as for new players, please don't be afraid to ask questions. I always try to explain why I do setups a certain way so that they can take that knowledge and apply it somewhere else. So always be open to taking in new information because there's endless levels to this game. Basically to summarize, your main enemy when it comes to your KD is yourself. Have some self-control and peak things at the right times instead of blindly swinging off of a sound cue. That ties in with just slowing down your gameplay. And as a general tip for all players going through the rank grind, the higher you go, the more things are going to change. Strats that worked in silver or gold aren't going to work in emerald. You have to be open to changing the way you do things and listen to your better teammates. Take advice on how they do things, warm-ups, strategies, what operators they play. They are better for a reason. This is the last time I'll say this, and I can't stress it enough, keep a level head. Learn from your deaths instead of complaining that they happened adapt and that's the best way to improve your KD. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below your thoughts and if you relate to this type of content and if you do make sure you subscribe for even more Siege content. Anyways and as always I'll see you